So we're in second week of September and in the Yukon, it's unseasonably hot. Right now we're out on a moose hunt. The colors are changing. It's beautiful out here. You know, a few cold days and the rut will really turn on. The moose are just out of velvet. And on a hot day like this, everything is shut down. So this, you know, you start to really think about, okay, how do I pinpoint these animals and where are they more likely gonna be? So this is where I pull out the phone and I go to my Onyx map and now I really dig into micro analyze where we are and what the terrain features are around. So on a hot day like today, when you know that nothing is really moving, you gotta think, okay, where are these animals gonna bed down? So I look for small pockets of water for moose that they might be bedding on, you know, on the side of a, a pond, you know, side of, of a little piece of water, whether it's the river. Obviously the river would be a natural place. It's windy as well. So I'm looking at where are there little ponds that might be sheltered from the wind and they can access shade as well as the water easily. So that's where I can go into my Onyx app, really dig in and look micro on the whole, all the sides of this valley and find out s small pockets of water. And then when the evening comes in, I can really focus on those areas as far as glassing goes, because I might be able to pick up movement in those areas versus just out in the middle of nowhere. So that's where the app really helps out in, in the field application when you really have to think about where these animals might be in a situation like this where it's really hot, unseasonably hot in the middle of the, you know, in the middle of September, early rut, try to figure out where these animals are gonna be and where you can focus your glassing.